Hey guys and girls of YouTube, um, I'm a documentary fanatic. I love watching documentaries. I like to watch everything like on TV. Um, I just like documentaries, History Channel, stuff like that. I ain't much for the trash TV. My wife loves it though. But um, last week I was watching something on Netflix called The Science of Evil. It's um, a documentary made by National Geographic. What they were talking about was um, normal people putting. Uh, Certain situations will do evil deeds, but then you take them back, and you know it's, it's a real bit, and then they'll go back to normal. But they put this one lady into a um, MRI machine, and they were going to ask her a question. They was wanting to see how her mind reacts as she contemplates the question. So the question was, hold on a second. It was, you're in a, a camp or whatever, or you know what I mean. Um, you're in a hut with villagers, and you're holding your baby. And if the um, bad guys, nail dwellers or whoever's out and running around the, the camp looking for people, if they find you guys, they will kill you all. So your baby starts to cry. And as you try, you try to console your child. The baby's not going to be consoled, and you put your hand over his mouth, and it still wouldn't chill out. So the question was. Do you kill your child and save everybody, or let your child live, then you all die? Being a straight beat counter, you say, yeah, just kill your child, right? But that's different when you're holding your child, then he's looking back up at you, and it's starting to kick and fight you off. But the thing is, I'm saying, I live in America, and the shit ain't going down like that. Because... <laughs> No, this is how it would happen in America. People be in my house hiding. My baby would start to cry. No other way was coming to my door. I pass my child off to somebody else. Me and Mr. AK is just going to be knocking dicks and dirt as they come through the door. As I'm shooting it out with the bad guy, everybody else would be making it out the back door. Um, as I do my hellfire. Uh, they try to they make... They, Pretty much a couple concealed weapons carrier will be, you know, having point, just in case there's one or two of them out there, and they'll take the villagers to safety while I pretty much die in a hell of a gunfire. But enough distraction to make it out, or maybe live. But if I die, you know, everybody will be singing the ballad of Sailor Emmanuel, you know? So, yeah, I live in America, it ain't going down like that, man. Because I, I can't even put myself physically in those situations because I'm thinking, uh, no, I think I have a gun. I believe I will be fighting, you know. Uh, I don't know. And the big screw you to the guy at Walmart. I ain't got my concealed weapons permit. should be here anyway. Some, I'm walking out 4 o'clock in the morning at Walmart with my buggy. Some idiot tosses a firecracker, you know, and I'm like, you know, if I had a gun, I'd probably be turned and whipped around, you know what I mean? You know, it sounded like a little 22 going off, you know. Didn't know what to do. That's, that's, I don't know no Walmart parking lot. All right, guys, be good.